What's up guys, Six Pound Burrito here, and welcome to a series that I'm going to call The Book of Questions, because, well, that's what we're going to be talking about is The Book of Questions. I'm going to be answering questions out of this book here. Um, it's a book that I found, I don't know, just looking around on the internet one day, and I thought it'd be a really cool book to do a video series on. Um, but before I start that, I want to take a second to mention my Discord chat channel. Um, you can see the link down below. Uh, go ahead and check that out there. As you can see in this book, there's just questions with numbers on them. So the first question here is, for a person you love deeply, would you be willing to move to a distant country knowing there would be little chance of seeing your friends or family again? I... I don't know, I probably would, because I guess to me, Love means a lot, and I don't know. I guess but that's something you have to experience, I feel like. Next question here. Do you believe in ghosts or evil spirits? Would you be willing to spend a night alone in a remote house that is supposedly haunted? Um, I do believe there are spirits, and I don't know about necessarily goats, but go goats, <laughs> ghosts. <laughs> I know there's goats. But ghosts, um, I, I don't know about goats, but yeah, like, I guess if you consider spirits and ghosts the same thing. Um, would I say night in a haunted house alone? For the, for the right price. <laughs> if you could spend one year in perfect happiness, but afterward remember nothing of the experience, would you do so? If not, why not? I would, um, because you got really nothing to lose. I mean, yeah, you you have happiness for that whole year, but afterwards you forget it. Well, it wouldn't matter because you would forget it anyway, but you might as well enjoy it while you can. If a new medicine were developed that would cure arthritis but cause a fatal reaction in 1% of those who took it, would you want it to be released to the public? Um, I feel like if it had a 99% success rate, it should. Be, but also with the warning that like it could cause death I mean the thing is people know that cigarettes cause cancer and all sorts of other things but people still smoke cigarettes with knowing the risk so I feel like even so people would want to be like yeah maybe I can cure my arthritis and if not I guess maybe I die you discover your wonderful one-year-old child is because of a mix-up at the hospital, not yours, would you want to exchange the child to try to correct the mistake? Um, I don't know, if I had already, you know, built a bond with this child that I've been taking care of for a year and stuff, I would probably not want to change the child, and like, I feel like somebody else would end up with my child too, and they would also have a bond that they might not want to break. Do you think that the world will be a better or a worse place 100 years from now? Um, 100 years from now, I think, I think it'll be better, I guess. I always have faith that people will eventually just you keep improving. Um, sometimes we get stuck in some, some ruts where <laughs> things are not so great, but I think overall people try and learn from those mistakes and learn from the past, and yeah, sometimes history repeats itself, but I think people generally, genuinely try to improve. Would you rather be a member of a world championship sports team or be the champion of an individual sport? Which sport would you choose? Um, it, between an individual and a team sport, I would probably go with a team sport so that you had someone to celebrate that victory with. Like, an individual sport would be great, but I feel like having somebody to share that victory, that would be uh, more important. Um, and which sport I... I don't know. I don't really care. Um, I don't really take much interest in sports. Probably like football or something or basketball. I don't know. This is this is a great question because this is an easy answer, at least for me. Um, would you accept a million dollars to leave the country and never set foot in it again? Yeah, absolutely. I'd be like, yep. See, I, I'm gone tomorrow. Like, I would take off for sure. I would leave. Which sex do you think has it easier in our culture? Have you ever wished you were the opposite sex? Now, I think males have it easier in our culture, um, at least in my culture, um, and in most cultures, in fact, I think 
males have it easier. And have I ever wished I was the opposite sex? Um, yes and no. I I think it would be interesting to be the opposite sex for a little bit just to see what it's like. But I don't I don't know if I would really want to stay a female. So this is I like the next question here. This one's great because it reminds me of Death Note because it's it's basically that. You are given the power to kill people simply by thinking of their deaths and twice repeating the word goodbye. People would die a natural death and no one would suspect you. Are there any situations in which you would use this power? Um, there's there's probably some times I, I probably would have abused that power, yeah. I would uh, probably use it to take, take care of some dirty work. <laughs> If you were able to live to the age of 90 and retain either the body or the mind of a 30 year old for the last 60 years of your life, which would you want? I think it would be more important to have a stable mind than have a nice body. Um, because there's not much you can do about having a stable mind. Like once your mind starts going, kind of, there's not a whole lot you can do to retain it, I guess, in a lot of cases. But your body, there's things you can do to, uh, I mean, still have a nice, nicer looking body. Would you rather be extremely successful professionally and have a tolerable yet unexciting private life, or have an extremely happy private life and only a tolerable and uninspiring professional life? I think I could deal with having like my professional life if that wasn't was uninspiring. I feel like I could deal with that over not having an inspiring. Uh, personal life. If at birth you could select the profession your child would eventually pursue, would you do so? If, if I could select the profession of my child, I probably would. Um, I would pick a nice path for them. If they didn't know, I picked it. Like if if they thought it, you know, it was all their own free will, I would probably do it. But I wouldn't want them knowing I picked their path ahead of time. Would you be willing to become extremely ugly physically if it meant you would live for a thousand years at any physical age you chose? Um, I don't think I would want to live for a thousand years in general, just because you would see so much shit happen. And that would be, I don't know, I think that, that would just be too long to live, honestly. You have the chance to meet someone with whom you can have the most satisfying love imaginable, the stuff of dreams. Sadly, you know that in six months, the person will die. Knowing the pain that would follow, would you still want to meet the person and fall in love? What if they knew your lover would not die, but instead betray you? Um, I feel like I could deal with, for one thing, a lover dying more than I could them betraying me. Um, I don't know, because if I get betrayed, I I feel like I'd gotta get, I could get back, and that's not a good feeling. Um, and I think it would be pretty great to have that love for, you know, for six months at least and have experienced that versus not experience it at all. If you knew of a way to use your estate following your death to greatly benefit humanity, would you do it and leave only a minimal amount to your family? Um, yeah, I probably would. I think it would, if I could greatly benefit humanity as a whole versus just my family I think that would be just more important that's, that's that would be huge if you could use a voodoo doll to hurt anyone you choose would you I think that's basically like similar to the same like death note thing um, of being able to basically kill off anyone or well hurt anyone in that case but yeah I think same thing I've got I've got some scores I could settle are there people you envy enough to want to trade lives with them? Who are they? Uh, I don't think there's anyone I envy enough to want to trade lives with. I, I have my own life and I'm going to make something of it. and I have my own things I'm going to do. I don't want somebody else's life. For an all expense paid one week vacation anywhere in the world, would you be willing to kill a beautiful butterfly by pulling off its wings? What about stepping on a cockroach? Uh, yes, stepping on a cockroach. Even though I hate stepping on cockroaches and I hate the sound they make, um, I would do it, and pulling off the wings of a butterfly, I, again, I would do that as well. It's, I mean, it's one butterfly and I get to take a week vacation anywhere in the world. I don't know, maybe that's selfish, but I would do it. Would you be willing to murder an innocent person if it would end hunger in the world? I probably would. 
um, you know, the needs of the few versus the needs of the many, I'd take the needs of the many. That one person versus saving the lives of, I don't know, thousands or however many. Have you ever hated anyone? If so, why and for how long? Um, I have, but I can't honestly remember why or how long because I don't really hold on to grudges very much and I guess I've learned not to hold on to hate. I don't, I don't know. I don't have, I don't have time for that. Like, it's, it's just not worth my time, not worth my energy to hate somebody. So, no, I guess I have hated people, but I, not for very long at all. Would you rather be given $10,000 for your own use or $100,000 to give anonymously to strangers? What if you could keep a million dollars or give away $20 million? Um, if it was 10000 or 100000 I would probably take the 10000 But the million to $20 million, that's a huge difference. Like nine, That's a $19 million difference. And that that would make a big difference. I would probably spread that uh, 20 million amongst like homeless and stuff. That's gonna do it for this one. Um, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know in the comments down below. And again, leave me some comments for next week's video. Um, I've got I don't know. I got a ton of questions in here I could go over. So let me know if you want some more of the book of questions. And that's uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for this one. Once again. If you like the video, leave a like, and if you haven't already, please go ahead and leave a subscribe, turn on those notifications, that way you'll know when I upload or when I stream, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, peace out.